Hello, Simmers. Seaweed from Tribal Soup Project here. Welcome to another episode of Simsational. You're watching the All Things Custom and Modsational series. And today, I'm going to show you guys something which has greatly enhanced my personal gameplay experience. And that is to have the ability to have your teens quit school and then enroll in university. So you will need an odd, I, 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 you will need a mod in order for this to work. And that mod is MC Command Center created by Deaderpool. And if you don't know how to install mods, I will show you how to do that at the end of this video. But let's go ahead and jump right in and make it so our teens have the ability to quit school. So with the mod installed, I'm going to go ahead and click on a computer. And this can be any computer, whether it's at your house or anywhere else. And I'm going to choose MC Command Center. Then I'm going to go to MC Career. This is where we can enable our children's or teens to quit school. So I'm going to select Teens Quit School. I'm going to choose Enabled, and I'm going to click my check mark to acknowledge, and then I'm going to back out of MC Command Center. Now that I have enabled this to happen, I'm going to go ahead and click on my teen, and I'm going to choose MC Command Center, then Send Commands, and we have this option to quit school. And we're going to go ahead and quit. Boom. Now that she has quit school, we are ready to go ahead and enroll her into university. You cannot enroll your sim in university as a teen by using a computer or by using the mailbox. You will not be able to go through the regular process as if you did not cheat. So we're going to have to use um, the university debug menu. And in order to access this, we first need to enable our cheats to work by opening our cheat box by pressing and holding control shift and the letter C on our keyboard, opening up that cheat box in the top left hand corner. To enable our cheats, we're going to enter testing, cheats, spacebar, true. And then we hit enter and the drop down has opened up, letting us know that our cheats are enabled. And I'm simply going to hit escape on my keyboard to close the cheat box. Now that my cheats are enabled, I'm going to hold down shift on my keyboard while clicking my sim at the same time. Then I'm going to choose the university debug menu and enroll in university. And then we can go through the process of enrolling. Boom. Bam. Boom. All done. So now we have a teen who is going to go through university instead of high school. It was that simple, guys. Up next is how to install the mod. In order to use mods and custom content in your game, you're first going to have to enable them to work by coming up here to the options menu and in your game options, click on the other tab. You need to make sure that this enable custom content and mods and script mods allowed boxes are checked being sure to apply your changes, and then you are ready to go ahead and completely exit out of your game and install the mod. Now that we have enabled mods and custom content to work in our game, you are going to come to this page, which I will link down into the description below, and you are going to want to choose the MC Command Center version that is right up here on the top. You really want the most recent version. And at the time of recording this, the recent version is 2021 1.0. So I'm simply going to go ahead and click on that. And my zip file um, folder has opened right up. But if yours, if you get this little download thing down here, then all you have to do is double click on it and it will open up as soon as it's done downloading. So now that I have that open, I'm going to come down here to my file explorer. Then I am going to choose documents, electronic arts, the Sims 4, then mods. And I am simply going to highlight all of these um, script files and package files and drag them over to my mods folder. It was that easy and we're ready to go back into our game. Now that we're back in our game, we have this little window that pops up that does not usually pop up. All this is, it's a list of all the mods or custom content that you put into your game that you have successfully installed. So I'm simply going to go ahead and click the check to acknowledge, and we're ready to go back into our game. 
that's it guys i hope you enjoyed the video as well as learned something from watching it if you did like the video please do be so kind as to hit that thumbs up button and give us a like subscribe to the channel if you have not already and be sure to hit that bell in order to never miss a video check out the website follow us on social media and until next time guys happy simming and i'll catch y'all later goodbye